Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing unstacking rows into columns. But different than the previous video, in this situation, we don't have consistency in the amount of rows we're looking at. To give you an example, so in our bank rate data set, we got four rows, which will make one record. And this is delimited by space. But then the next record actually consists only of three rows. So we don't have all of the data. We're expecting country, date, rate, and change. So there we can see we have the changes missing. The next one, Austria, we only have the country and the date. We don't have the rate and change. So what we want to end up with is a list like this in its column format. If any of the data is missing, we just have blanks like that. So let me show you how to do it. All right, so let's take this data set and we go to data and we say from table and range and get it into Power Query. So once you're in Power Query, let's quickly rename this to Rate Query. First thing we do is we add an index column. So we go to index column and we add an index from one. Now we have the index column. Next thing we do is we add a custom column. In this custom column, we do a simple if statement. We say if the rate data is null, basically our delimiter here is a blank, is a blank space to indicate the start of a next record. Null then index else no so what happens is you end up with a thing like this column like that so you can see basically at each delimiter we have a record number so we're going to add a step and we're going to say table full up and we're going to say this custom column that we just added we're going to fill it up Basically, what that does is it takes that record number, that index number, and it fills it up. So we know now everything five is actually one record, everything nine is one record, and everything 12 is one record. Pretty cool. Next, we filter out all the nulls. Now that we have a unique identifier for each row, let's go to transform and group it by the custom column. Yes. And then we say, give us the data. And I'm going to say, give me all rows. If you look at that, we have a unique row identifier and all the records within that identifier. Now you can see each of these table objects, we don't need the index or the custom, we just want that right data. So simply what we can do there is, with the group statement, you can delete all of this up until the underscore, and you can just in your square bracket say right data, which is that first column in your table. And you close it out. So, okay, so now you have a list with the data of each row in it. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to transform these lists into tables. Let's quickly add a step there. We say list transform and we give it our group rows table, which is that step over there. And we're going to say give us the data column, which is the list of a list. We say each table from rows and we need to put it into a curly brackets the underscore which basically is going to refer to that data in there you need to close it out what it does now is it gives you a table from by converted that to a table now all we need to do is combine all of these together so i'm just going to add another step so table combine and in brackets, just give it that step over there. And there you go. We're basically almost there. Next thing, let's quickly just change the data type on this guy over there. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to quickly rename these columns. So let's say country, and let's call this one date. But I don't want to manually rename it. You can see this is the syntax that we use for renaming. We basically use table rename columns, and then we give it a list of list say column one becomes country, column two becomes date. So what I'm going to show you is, for this data set, I actually know that we have these four expected columns, you know, so column one would be that, column two this, column three that, and column four that. So what I'm going to take is, I'm going to take this table in Excel and just bring it into Power Query. Let's call this rename columns. This I want to change into a list of lists, very similar to that. So I go in there, just add a step, say table to 
rows. Now just basically feed it that. So now what this did is it basically created like a pairing of says column one becomes country, column two becomes date, column three becomes rate. So you go back to your rate query. And with this last step, we wanted to rename the columns. Just take this hard coding off. And I'm going to refer to that renamed columns list query that we just wrote and close out all the brackets. And like magic, there you go. And we can return that data set to Excel. Here you go. Isn't that cool? We basically unstack uneven rows into columns. Isn't that glorious and wonderful? I hope you learned something new in Power Query and using some of the excellent functions in Power Query. Until we meet again, BA Sensei signing out.